Oubliette. No signs now, they have long fallen or been pushed. A push is all it takes into the black. The whole landscape flat as a lake or bed, but giving way to the crumbling rim the girl is standing on. There's something to it. The great maw open to the sky, cut so in the skin of the flat ground around which we stand or sit. So like the eye of some deity or ghost looking to nothing in particular. A place of forgetting. There should have been a sign, one says, this one, the girl in Nisak standing at the edge. We would have found it faster. Some of us remembered the bright marker crawling with script, Cyrillic loops and oriental lentils, illegible but nonetheless marking the place a monument in inverted to hear us better. Why call it black when it's clear the walls are red, though we can barely hear her, her voice pulled as it is by the deep promise before her? A convention, dear we all hold out of habit. This is worship, one could say, as pure as white sheets in the sun, though there is no sun now. We are not afraid. This place is dear to us, and our red cruelty asks so little, such little pain for all we, if one is allowed, get out of it. Is it very deep? Throwing her words down as if there might be a final plop at the end. Our hole is very deep, and it is quiet, and it is great enough to hold everything there is. Um, this next poem is not autobiographical. Um, it's called How to Be Naked in Public. And uh, 